Okay, you Geminis, I have to start over your reading because there is just definitely, definitely some horrible energies that is around me. So, let's see what's coming up for you, Geminis. So, okay, so as we begin the readings, this is happy birthday to all you Geminis. It's just so horrible. There's just negative energies. Okay, so let's not think about them. Let's see what is transpiring. So as I said, you Geminis, this month is your birthday month. Happy birthdays to all you Geminis for a birthday reading. Please check out um, the website and you can order a birthday readings, okay? The energy of strength comes in and with this energy of strength it's going to affect you gemini's for the entire year okay now this month energies is the energy of strength you gemini's are having birthdays at um come coming to the end of um this month so um, the air energy for you guys is finding inner strength to deal with situations in this year of 2019. So that is where we are at with these energies. Please remember to cross watch. Cross watch. I'm doing um, uh, the extended readings. Cross watch. You can always pick up the extended readings, the dollar ninety nine. Uh, cross watch for your partners and for other people who are going to be coming up in your life to know what is going to be transpiring and what is going to be happening okay so be aware of this so for a lot of you Gemini's be careful out there because there is just some real low energies that is going to be transpiring and going to be happening this month you guys um, you're working with the energy of uh, um, um, finding in a strength okay so Gemini's and um, you Gemini's especially it's going to be affecting um, you guys in this month so be aware of that I love the month of May it's one of my favorite months apart from the month that I was born in I love you Gemini's I can so um, deal with you Gemini's so it's wonderful so let's look and see I'm gonna bring down the camera um so let me know how this uh, um reading this way is for you guys so i'm going to bring down the camera so you can see the cards so all right now as we look in this month we're starting off with the first week to see what's happening we have the energy of the chariot so this is good um, I, I guess the energy of the chariot is really coming out for a lot of you air sign people whatever is transpiring this is a second air sign that is receiving the energy of the chariot this this is definitely movement that is going to be happening for you Gemini's okay I hope it's not too far it's movement um, it's you moving forward in your life let's see what else is coming up for the Gemini's we have the energy of the lovers so some of you could be um, moving in with um, a love um, uh, some of you could be deciding to move forward in a love relationship some of you could be uh, connecting with your twin flame or soulmate and you are deciding that this is the person for you which is wonderful the chariot and the lover together is to yes 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 go for it energy of the world is here so another wonderful yes energy in the third week so um, you guys are really really having um, a positive year but also for the Gemini's who were born in the month of May you're not only having a positive year but you are also going to be having positive alignment you have fire you have water which is positive emotions and you have the energy of the world let's see what's coming out in the fourth week for you Gemini you're dealing um, with uh, someone in power this is definitely someone in power it could be you yourself there could be um, positive alignment of energies especially when it when it comes up to your materialistic world work and that sort of a thing it's definitely definitely going to be happening for you Gemini so 
Um, these are wonderful energies. So you have the energy of uh, um, fire um, beginning um, this uh, month and ending the month with the energy of fire. Now you have all four beautiful weeks, okay? All four beautiful weeks are here for you, Geminis, and I hope, I really really hope that you guys can see um, the cards okay so let me bring it down here I really hope that you guys um, are seeing um, these energy coming up because it's good just going to be um, very beautiful so again I'm seeing a situation with some of you are going to be deciding on a relationship and I'm seeing a situation that some of you are definitely going to be having the alignment of um, good um, positive energy that is coming in your life. Let's see um, the first week going in the second week. What is coming up for the Gemini's? Um, definitely, uh, definitely a connection of love. It could be some of you are going to be deciding to um, go in a relationship. Um, connecting with someone in a relationship whatever the situation is and whatever that is transpiring it's going to be good because there is definitely some of you are planning on moving in together that sort of energy that is coming up and this is going to be aligning you in wonderful energies I'm seeing the lover energy um, so some of you are definitely going to be connecting with your twin flame and your soulmate in um, this month of May so this is good let's see the energy of the lovers and the world so definitely it's as if some of you have met your twin flame or soulmate and now you're definitely deciding I don't know if you guys can see the sun I'm going to be changing it some of you are deciding um, to leave a situation behind and leave the worries if you're in a love relationship okay I'm changing the way because I did it like this uh, um, for the the Aquarians okay so I guess you guys can really see the cards now and that's the most important thing so here we are um, with the energy of the chariot and the lovers and definitely in the first week going in the second week some of you are definitely going to be making some decisions about relationships some of you could be ending a marriage um, um, in the second week going in the third week you could be ending a marriage or deciding to end the marriage because it no longer serves you okay it's as if that cycle of that marriage is over because it's no longer serve you you could be also ending um, a soulmate relationship or a twin flame relationship um, especially the twin flame some of you could be ending the cycle of this twin flame relationship let's look at the third week going in the fourth week um, we have um, some conflicts some conflicts that was happening for you guys okay I'm hoping that you guys are seeing this some conflicts that was happening for you guys is finally um, ending okay so, so so you guys could have have some conflicts in authority or um, with uh, someone in power and it's definitely ending it could be a situation where um, you're in a management position and you were having um, some um, it's as if you are having a situation where um, there are people that is not vibrating on the right energy vibration and it's as if you have ended this okay let's see the two of cups because definitely some people are going to be deciding to walk away or move away from a situation that has to do with it could be family but it, it could be past life relationships that is coming back up it could be soulmate relationship where this is your soul family it could be your family it could be someone that you were married to and you're deciding um to reconnect for some of you and some of you are deciding to end this relationship however it comes up for you it is definitely here for the extended reading check out the on-demand extended reading and you will be aligned with it the wheel of fortune is here so this is positive especially when it comes on to work and for people who are in business this is a really positive energy um, because when the wheel of fortune comes with the energy of the Emperor if you decide to start a business or go into business it's a yes go for it it's a yes go for it 
it's a very very positive um, message is a yes go for it let's see what is the outcomes for you guys the ace of Pentacles the ace of Pentacles so what is so inspiring is that definitely the wheel of fortune is going to bring you guys a lot of money money is going to be playing a significant role for you guys because the wheel of fortune is definitely definitely going to be bringing a lot of money in your lives okay I hope you guys are seeing this because um, oh, I'm trying to make sure you guys can see these um, cards so the ace of Pentacles is here so it's um, it's definitely let me pull it out it's definitely a good alignment of energies that is coming up especially with your outcomes with the ace of uh, pentacles so this is uh, um, really really good so your month is really not looking bad it is actually a very positive month now there is definitely some heartbreaks here whatever the situation is there's going to be heartbreaks with um, people who are married um, because some people are going to decide to let go of a situation okay um, a karmatic situation with either a twin flame or a soulmate is now over the cycle has now ended so um, definitely um, you're deciding to move away um, and it's as if you have been deciding this for quite some times and you're really going to be putting it into action um, that you're going to be moving away check out the extended reading because then you'll be better um, to see uh, much more what is going on and with who and how this is going to be affecting your life so um, what is transpiring is that uh, um, some of you are going to be reconnecting um, with um, someone from your past life this is someone who you have a lot of love for the love is powerful for this person um, this is someone that is coming in from a past life and they're saying yes go for this relationship okay I'm seeing some of you end in a soulmate relationship and there was some battles that was going on there was conflicts and battles that was going on it could be a divorce um, that sort of an issue but at the end of the day some of you are going to be coming out being very financial abundance because you're ending the month with the ace of Pentacles and it has to do with a past life situation with a family situation, a karmatic situation that has transpired in your life and you're ending this uh, with a good note coming out with the ace of pentacles heartbreaks is definitely going to be here but some of you are going to be having financial balance and financial stability in your world and this is really really positive now um use the link below um if you'd like to see um the extended of this reading because it's going to be helping you to align what i'm seeing especially for people um, that is working with people in the management position um, if you're a manager and that sort of a thing what I'm seeing here that is happening and transpiring is that your world is about to, um, to um, come together as one because what is transpiring is that uh, you're definitely going to be receiving a management position you're going to be handing a situation that has been happening um, the energy of the wheel of fortune is here so um, you're going to be very fortunate if you are dealing with people in authority or you are yourself in authority it's going to be good you're a lot of you are uh, cut through a BS with um, someone who was a soulmate or a twin flame it could be a family member but it's coming up more as a lover that you have cut through the BS with that person and it is good now we have uh, the other energies that is coming out let's see what else there is three other energies that is coming out and this one said patient so a lot of you have been very patient and a lot of you have to find patient in this year to deal with situations in your life and it's all going to have to do with relationships so you have to be patient dealing with relationship but patient dealing with yourself also and this is going to be extremely wonderful so the first message we have is patient which is number 14 and this is very very good then the next um, 
energy we have is a purple energy so this is an healing energy and it says passion begin so a lot of you especially in your work your passion is going to be beginning in your work because um, it's as if whatever the blocks were it is now lifting and you're feeling yourself again um, you're releasing yourself of a relationship that no longer serves you and by doing that you are feeling very uplifting in yourself and this is good so what we're seeing is that um, balance and having patient is going to be very significant um, in this um, month the energy of the blue rest and rejuvenate this is going to be good it is going to be a very promising month for you Gemini's because you have of all that it takes even though that there is only one energy vibration here two energy vibration here which is the center of the month where you're cutting out things and situation that no longer serves you it is very good because what is aligning you is that some of you are going to be fine and patient and some of your your passion is going to be awakened and some of you you're going to be resting and rejuvenating after a really horrible situation that has transpired in your life and it has been a very very horrible situation that has transpired in your life but for most of you love is going to begin it's no question new love is um, going to be coming in um, there is no question about that okay so this is uh, really really good let's see what the animal um, the energy of the animal have for you guys what does uh, the energy of the animals coming up uh, you guys have the spirit of the frog clean out the clutters number 10 the wheel of fortune you have number 10 the wheel of fortune so you have one and zero which is the Omega um, helping you now whenever the frog energy comes up and this is an energy where you Gemini's are going to give cleaning out the clutter taking away what no longer serves you and um, really really changing the energies around you so call upon the angels of um, and the spirit guides of the frog to clear all lower energy call upon mother Mary and the angels of collective seals to come in um, and remove all lower energies whatever that is uh, um, been uh, connected to you and aligned with you you're going to be removing it because a lot of you have been in some really um, the savory um, situations in your life and you're carrying the energy of the other person and now you're going to be releasing yourself of that and that is going to be good now as we move forward let's see what the ascendance master we have Lord Kutumia comes up and um, your affirmation is I hope and to learn and teach I hope and to learn and teach and this is a really positive energy that is coming up because you're opening up yourself to learn and teach and that is where um, the energy of uh, the passion is going to be coming in your life because you decide to find inner wisdom in things around you some of you are going to be connecting with the heart is good whenever the energy of the heart comes up to connect with a heart so call upon your angels and guides Saint Germain and Archangel Angel Zachiel to um, come in and remove all lower energies from out of your space, out of your aura. Seal all doors and window. Call upon Archangel Michael um, to stand in your aura, Master Elmore, and to bring in the blue ray to actually cleanse the energy in and around you. And now, when, er, when Lord Kutilmia comes up, he is the world teacher and he has. Uh, the inauguration of Saint um, Saint Francis and Shawa, uh, who built the Taj Mahal and Mecca, one of the wisest men, Lord Kajmia, practiced armlessness, love, and wisdom. These energies are encapsulated in this card. Okay, so this is. A really positive card he is the member of the white brotherhood and I've always thought you guys about the white brotherhood and the golden robe those are who was taken in um, a certain the plan of the world if you are sensitive to energies acts Lord Kutumia 
um, to wrap you in his light. So let's call upon Lord Kutumia and ask him to wrap um, you or me in his light um, so that he can protect us from negative energies because obviously some of us are really sensitive to negative energies. The last energy that is coming out is from uh, the a paragon ship is coming up on you guys because um, you guys this is your year um, reading where a paragon ship you every year you change and there is a paragon ship that is coming up on you so definitely there is a paragon ship because the energies of the twin flame and the soulmate uh, these energies are ending out of your life which is good um, some of you need to inaugurate by water so um, whenever you're showering you can call upon the agents and guides to cleanse your energy call upon the mighty powerful um, energy, uh, angels to come in and release whatever low energy that is in you and around you to cleanse your energy vibration because obviously uh, I felt it before um, this reading that there was some negative energies that was coming up off you guys and this is going to be an healing new love is definitely going to be coming in so whatever is transpiring whatever is happening there's definitely new love is coming in you guys can see my hair I'm checking out um, your reading ladies and gentlemen I want to say thank you for being here if you'd like to see the extended reading please connect with us on on the mound where we will go deeper in um, explaining and I want to say please leave a message as to how um, you find this reading we will see in the cards and let me know and I want to say I'm wishing you a wonderful year I'm leaving you now on YouTube you can pick up the on demand reading on the channel namaste until next time